45 years ago, I started in television here. 3 degrees, the day's high. And I'll just never forget that day. It was a Monday. Temperatures again will surge. And I was scared to death. I said, I don't know if I could do this. And that was the start of dealing with Mother Nature for the last 45 years. <laughs> Weather forecasting can be challenging and difficult, but uh, it's never boring. <laughs> I've never been bored one day in my job. I've been at News Channel 13 for 35 years, and I'm most proud of just doing the job that I love to do, that I grew up wanting to do. We all know how time flies when you look at your job, your family. Sooner or later, it's time to go and, and hang up the weather maps and, and move on. My last broadcast, I may, I may cry all these years doing what I love doing, but now that's coming to an end. Hardest part is going to be walking out of the station and, and not being there every day, and losing that daily contact with people that I've worked with for many years. I don't know what I would say my last night on TV because there's so much I could say. I hope I was helpful to people, to our viewers. I hope people enjoyed watching help them make their plans. They learned a lot. I've certainly learned a lot from a lot of people, viewers out there. Thank you for watching. It's been my dream. Wow. It's I, the end of an era here at News Channel 13. <laughs> Looking this live is something now, new every night. Bob Kibachi. Where have you been for 40 years? <laughs> oh my God! Wow! Thank you, Kishiki. Look, I, I, I'm ready to cry here, so I, I'm just ready to cry. I can't. <laughs> my wife says, "Smile," and then you won't cry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna smile. Um, wow! That's uh. I don't know what to say. Amazing. I mean, all our viewers and people I've met down through the years and talked to and influenced some of the younger generation, the kids in school that I've talked to in the school. Uh, we had, uh, I know there's been probably three or four kids that have come in, visited, and they're interested in meteorology and they wanted to go on and study. And uh, I know three at least that have gone out of college to study meteorology. One of them at U Albany. So uh, I guess I've had some influence on people. Yes, sir. Do you have something to this say, is, sir? This is live television, Bob, and this is your last broadcast, but we want to bring you in. You're not done working yet. All oh. of these people had gathered to wish you well, oh. but we, we, want to, we, we still have some work to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Buddy. Wow, wow, wow. And wow, you wow. are looking live as Bob Kovacic makes his last entrance to the Weather Center here at News Channel 13 on his last day after 35 ish years. And 35, 38, 39 years, whatever. Whenever 45 you years on the air, Total. 50 years as a meteorologist. But we're not going to let you off that easily. We'd uh, like you to tell us what the first weather is. First warning forecast. I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate that. I After haven't, all these years, I haven't had a chance to look at all the weather information <laughs> maps, so I don't know what's going on. Paul, we okay here? Yeah, we Weapon. got your Lake Placid white face camera yeah, okay. that you like to use. Your favorite. The space bar there. We'll go to the Max next one. one clicker. Yeah, I got the Max One <laughs> clicker. See, <laughs> see, I get to order people around once in a while. <laughs> the Max One Thank clicker. Thank you. So it's a, <laughs> it's a beautiful day across there. We're a little bit uh, operating on a different uh, platform today than we have been, but a beautiful day across there off to White Face Mountain. There's Burlington. Gorgeous day, a little colorful, colored for fall foliage. Talk slower, don't get all worked up. Radar shows some rain off to the south. That's not going to bother us going forward, so we're okay tonight. And the weather looks pretty good for the next couple of days. Your next six hours will be dry, mostly cloudy. Upper 40s late tonight, hour by hour for tomorrow. 40 early and then 61 in the afternoon. More on the forecast. We'll even maybe give you a little, a little inside secret about the green screen pointing to nothing for 40 years. We'll talk about that coming up. Bob, thank you. After 45 years of coming into your living room, after tonight, Bob Kovacic will be spending more time in his living room. We all feel like we know Bob because we do. For four and a half decades, what you see is what you get.
Bob's in the Weather Center with our first check of the weather. All right, Chris, let's check it out. He's a household name because, frankly, he's a guy you'd like to have visit your house. 60s, as you can see, from Utica to Albany to Pittsfield. Bob's been forecasting the weather on TV for more than four and a half decades, 34 years at News Channel 13. Coldest record ever in Albany. Day in and day out, through any kind of weather, we trusted Bob. He earned our trust through accurate forecasts. Again, we're not out of the woods yet totally because there are still some storms around a fairly intense nature. He connected with us because more than a scientist, he's a real human being. We were waking up one morning and it was snowing profusely outside. He got up and he looked out the window and he said, yes, I was right, it's snowing. I didn't know anyone could be so passionate about the weather. There's something Bob loves more than the weather and that's family. Everything in his, in his life he loves and loves unconditionally and wholeheartedly and I think that is his legacy. Um, he loves and loves and loves. Bob gets a twinkle in his eye when he talks about his parents, Jane, an insurance office worker, and George, a milkman, driving up from Port Chester to stay at a hotel in Albany just so they could watch him on the news. If you really want to see his soft side, talk to Bob about kids, all kids, but especially his, Harrison and Sarah, who both adore him. I've never seen anyone with a bigger heart than he has. He's just an incredible father. He was an awesome dad. I mean, through and through, is an awesome dad. His love for children made him the perfect guy to be part of the station's Big Brothers Big Sisters program. Being a big brother to Matt uh, really made me aware of a lot of kids who have a tough time out there. And he was the clear choice to highlight all the great kids through our 13 Kids Who Care. I'm being mobbed in the back here by all the 13 kids. In his own unique way, Bob went out of his way to make a personal connection with each of them. But none was stronger than the bond he created with Kelsey Kittleson. Kelsey was just 14 when her parents got the news no parents ever want. Kelsey had surgery and we found out that it was not just a brain tumor, it was brain cancer and a terminal brain cancer at that. It was a punch in the gut. This young girl was a talented student, standout athlete and gifted musician, a bright light for all who came in contact with her. She always just kind of pushes through everything. She never lets anything stand in her way. Even when she was sick, Kelsey was making bracelets for others and raising money for Albany Med's Melody Center for kids being treated for cancer. Her selflessness and kindness made her a perfect candidate for 13 Kids Who Care. Just so that I could feel like I was giving back. Her mom was thrilled, but also nervous, as her daughter's health was failing. And I was worried. You know, I'm like, okay, don't make it about the cancer. She wanted to make sure the bright lights of the recognition wouldn't make things worse. You could tell when Bob walked in, he had an idea of the story, for sure. But when he saw Kelsey, he could, he could tell that this was a little bit more special. He could tell that she was a very sick child and in that split second moment you could see both his professionalism and his humanity as a mother and certainly as a mother who was very protective of that time i hoped it would go well and watching bob i just was like my girl is in the best hands kelsey passed away five days before her 16th birthday but she's still helping others with these kindness rocks a month and a half after her death she's impacting people around the world. Kelsey Kindness Rocks and their inspiring messages are being shared around the world, an everlasting gift for those who receive them. Kelsey's mom will always be grateful to Bob for his kindness to her dying daughter and the undying memories he gave them. I don't even know if he knew how important that was to me. He is a gift and he was a gift to us um, at the end of her life. He made my girl shine and he gave us a gift that we still can look on today. Bob was tremendous with her, and he shined such a great light on her. He let her shine that day, and he just did that so expertly. And um, from that moment on, if I could hug that man every time I see him, I would. Rachel Kittleson said she would hug you every day if she could. Wow. We, we invite her to join us now to give you a hug on behalf of her family and on behalf of the entire capital region. Rachel, come on out. There's Rachel. Hey. What a surprise. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Are you making out okay? Good. Thank you. <laughs> for everything. Well, I did what I could, but still, it was an honor and a pleasure to, to work with your daughter and, and 
Wow, I'm so happy you're here. It's like amazing. You are a gift. You really are. Thank you. Thank you Thank for everything you've done for our whole community. Wow. A little Thank something you. for you. A little bit of clouds. Oh, a rock. Yep. Yes, a rock. Rainbow oh, in rain the clouds. Rainbow which is in what the clouds. You are. Oh, gosh, that's so sweet. Congratulations you. on your retirement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here Absolutely. today. Absolutely. It's a pleasure and an honor. Wow. Okay. I, I'm totally blown away now. <laughs> I am totally blown away. I don't know what else to say. And, and uh, what do I say? I, gosh, it's like, wow. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Okay. Bob, we do have some more breaking news tonight. Yeah, this just in, as they used to say in the business. <laughs> this right here is a congressional proclamation. Whoa. Now, we've, we've already heard from Kathy Sheehan, Mayor yes. Kathy yes. Sheehan of yes. Albany, who declared it Bob Kovacic Day in the city of mm -hmm. Albany. But this is from the United States House of Representatives. And oh it reads God. in part, it's by Congressman Paul Tonko, dated October 3rd, 2022. Whereas the community recognizes individuals who give their time and energy to serve the best interests of their society, whereas said individuals are assets beyond remuneration and cannot sufficiently be extolled, but whose services can be celebrated and... Mm -hmm. Whereas Bob Kovacic received his Bachelor of Science from Linden State College, worked at WTEN, TA in Pittsburgh. Whereas Bob Kovacic joined WNYT in April 1988 as News Channel 13's chief meteorologist and has graced the screens of the Capital Region ever since, bringing his knowledge and experience to viewers. Whereas Bob Kovacic's decades on the air, he has taken time to mentor other meteorologists and colleagues with grace and candor, brought the field of meteorology into Capital District schools, and has been an instrumental part of WNYT for his entire tenure, and whereas, I'll jump to the, the conclusion here, whereas Bob Kovacic completed his last broadcast, as he completes his last broadcast today, may we remember his presence and comp contributions to this region for years to come. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that on the third day of October 2022, I, as a duly elected member of the United States House of Representatives, do hereby commend Bob Kovacic on the occasion of his retirement. Uh, how do I follow that up? How do I, I mean, oh my gosh. I, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the members of Congress and, and, and who put all that together and information. It's just, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm blown away by everything that's happened in the last two and a half hours. I really am. It's like, 
Wow, it's time to walk out the door. We didn't have the <laughs> time or ability to share all of the well wishes. We, we received others. We'll share those for you personally, but there were some who wanted to make sure that they got a message to you, and we'll make sure you get those. And the messages continue There's to pour in right from now you to at share. home. Yeah. Paul Nakayano saying that your personality, longevity, and professionalism, Bob, you are firmly enshrined on the Mount Rushmore of Capital Region news personalities. And Stephen says, you visited my fifth grade class at Bout Hills Elementary maybe 45 years ago. Thank you for that visit, and thank you for being the Capital District's weatherman for such a long time. And Yolanda says, there will never be another Bob Kovacic. I think we wow. all agree with that. Well. Well, my son's kind of Bob Kovacic, but a different name. <laughs> That's right. Look, I don't know what to say. Uh, what do I say? Go ahead. You, you don't have to say anything more. Uh, <laughs> you you say, make such I, an impact I don't on, know on what everyone to say. you've been around and, and all of us who you've worked with. Yeah, people behind the yeah. scenes, people in front of the camera, behind the camera. Here's our former 6 o'clock director, Jim Krell. Well, Bob, you're finally doing it. You're finally taking that big step. I wish I had some wisdom for you, but you'll figure it all out. And I know how much you're going to miss being on air and having autograph hounds hounding you all the time. But uh, enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. I know you'll probably be doing a lot of uh, a lot of other things that you'd much rather be doing than working. So take care of yourself and all the best. We salute Private John Kennedy from East Greenbush. He served in the Army in Vietnam. We salute him and we thank him for his service. Now, for the last time, we can say this. Let's, Let's go, go to, to Chief, Chief Meteorologist, Meteorologist Bob, Bob Kovacic. Oh, you guys did that very well. Very nice. Let me, t let me show you a little secret here. This is something we've been doing for 40 years. Well, this process wasn't 40 years ago, but a lot of years, last 30 years maybe. It's called chroma key graphics. So what happens is... There's nothing there. I tell people I point to nothing for a living. There's no maps. There's nothing. This side, the same thing. Nothing. What you see here, I don't know if you really can see, there's a TV screen up in the corner here, right over here, that I look at and know where to point. Point to nothing. Turn this way. There's a TV screen on the other side. Where do I point? There's nothing there. It's called chroma key, and boom, all the graphics are there when they need to be. Otherwise, Nada, nothing. How is that done? How is that possible? I don't know. It's crazy. Electronic wizardry, for sure. Now we pop the graphics back in, 
and there they are. So now you know the big secret of television, chroma key, the graphics, the pictures that we use on TV as well. Uh, I had to share that because I've talked about it so often. Uh, over to Amsterdam right now in our CD PHP first warning camp. Temperature now in the mid 50s. Kind of an overcast sky across much of the area late this afternoon. Low to mid 50s up and down the valley now. To Montreal, to the Capital District, point south toward New York City with a cloudy sky pretty much everywhere. First warning live Doppler. Not much going on. We do have that rain well to the south across southeastern New York State, as you can see, the far lower Hudson Valley. I'm amazed. I amaze people. Then I point to nothing. What did you do for a living? I point to nothing for a living. 40 years of nothing. Anyway, some heavier rain down there. That rain is not going to bother us at all in the near future. How about the bus stop for tomorrow morning for the kiddos? Cloudy skies, kind of cool. 42 degrees, sunrise at 6. 56 a.m. is your sunrise tomorrow. Rain chances for tomorrow, pretty small, just a few tiny per percentage chances. If I could talk, I should go back on TV someday. 15%, 15, 15. So slight chances of showers, but really no signs of any rain coming our way. Our by hour forecast for tonight, cloud cover filling the skies. A little brush with rain to the south, but few and far between. Maybe some light rain, as you could see. Late tomorrow afternoon in our southern viewing area, that rain gets on out, and we're left with cloudy skies for the middle of the week. It gets better and warmer later on. First warning forecast for tonight, low 40, mostly cloudy, chilly. A shower possible on a southern viewing area with a northwesterly breeze. For tomorrow, your wake-up weather ships up like this, mostly cloudy skies. 6.56 is your sunrise, mostly cloudy, kind of chilly. Temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s. To begin your day tomorrow, look for a high of 69, 61. Lots of clouds, cool again, some showers off to the south. Now, your seven-day planner looks like this. Looks dry, looks pretty quiet. Slight chance of a shower on Friday. Breezy, chilly, cold front comes by Friday night. Wind and chill, 56 on Saturday. Low 39, chilly but dry on Sunday and Monday. So, chances of any rain coming our way right away, pretty, pretty small. Yeah. I have nothing else to say. I'm done. I'm done. Did you finish the seven day? Yes, yeah, I did. I did. That's an important one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Okay. We've been hearing messages from current and former colleagues of ours. Paul shared a story about you helping him out with an air conditioner. You Take probably don't remember this. One of the running jokes don't. here at the TV station has always been Bob's departure time, right? We know that he uh, tends to get out maybe even sometimes before the credits of the 6 o'clock news are rolling. And while that may surprise some, doesn't surprise me, and I'll tell you why. A long time ago, uh, probably even before I started working here, Bob, um, it, I needed an air conditioner. I moved into this new apartment, and it was just, just a sauna. And uh, I was on the phone uh, with Bob, and, and he said, uh, hey, I got an air conditioner. Come over to my house uh, after the, the news. And I said, oh, around like 7 o'clock. He goes, no, 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 6.30, 6.35. And I'm, okay, maybe he'll leave it in the driveway or something for me. So I made my way over to Bob's house, and I was looking for the air conditioner on the, on the deck, on the porch or something. And uh, then at the screen door appears Bob. And this is like 6.35 or 6.40. And he's got a polo shirt on, shorts, and a cigar in his mouth. And I said, did you work today? He said, yeah, I just got back. You know, I think I got to change. And I said, are you going back to do the late news? Yeah, I've got to go back to do the late news. And I'm like, oh, all right, this, this job is pretty cool. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, I got my 600-pound air conditioner <laughs> lugged it into my back of my car, and uh, off I went in uh, surprise at the time that uh, he made his way around uh, quite steadily and, and swiftly at that time. Well, I forgot about that too. Wow. You're always helping me out. You don't even realize when you're helping wow. me out. Wow. wow, that is something. Well, and he's available now to help. Move even things. more. So, yeah, yeah, right. So. I can use some sure, help. Sure, absolutely. Help around the house. Are we done? No. <laughs> Sit tight. We'll be right back. Oh. <laughs>
Welcome back to Kovacic's Corner. <laughs> We've got a whole party here now. We have three Kovacic's here, too. Jill and Sarah have joined us live wow. in the studio, and Roger's here. No one, you haven't worked uh, longer with anyone here than Roger. That's so true. Roger about Wilder's the same here. time. Yeah. Special day for gonna, him, too. Are you still going to complain about cold winter weather yes. or not here? Complain to Cayenne. <laughs> and I'm also going to tell you that when the track opens, the summer's over. You love that oh. one. <laughs> track opens in July. Oh, summer's done. Goodbye. <laughs> We've been celebrating um, all afternoon. Uh, if you missed it at 4 o'clock, we had a special moment where they renamed the sign right outside our studio. Yeah, that was that's unbelievable. Look at that. Wow. So the street outside News Channel 13 in the village of Menans used to be called North Pearl Street. Yes. It's now called Bob Kovacic <laughs> Way forever and ever. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> it's more than cool. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I'm humbled. I'm just plain humbled. You didn't know about it? No. You kept a lot of things secret. No one spilled the beans. No. No. Nobody, Nobody spilled the beans. Everybody hush hush. That's so. It was worth the reaction though oh. at that moment. Uh, and Roger, we also wanted to say happy birthday. Boy, thank we got you. a lot of celebrating going on Listen, today. This and is Bob's day, not mine. Happy oh, birthday, happy birthday man. Thank you. Well, <laughs> well, wait, be careful with that. <laughs> and Bob got a gift from Sabrina, too. Uh, it, I think it's 80 proof. <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps he'll yeah, share it. Yeah, where did it go? Well, it's somewhere. Okay. We'll have to Bob, I'll take the night off. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bob, we are, we've been trying to get in touch with your son, so we're going to go to break. We're going to see this latest on that, and we'll be right back. Okay, great. And finally, we have another special guest, your son Harrison, joining us live via Zoom. He wanted to be a part of your special day. Hey, hey Harrison. Hey, Dad. How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I wish I could be there to celebrate, uh, you know, this monumental um, step in your life with you and Sarah and Mom. Um, I'm glad they're there with you, but I just want to congratulate you and, you know, tell you how much I love you and how proud I am of you and... Da I mean, you know, I wish, you know, I was able to get a street named after me as well. So you really are a legend, and how, I love you so much. You get the last word. How was your first day of work? <laughs> <laughs> and his last. Good. And my last. Good night, everybody. Hey, good to see you, Harrison. Love you, buddy. Love you, too.